Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite things to do on an ukulele. I call it a triplet pull-off high G drone technique. And what I do with this, I do it a lot in a lot of my music. Um, I go ahead and I just find the highest string on your ukulele, which should be your high A, okay? Once you find that, go ahead and just hit it with your ring finger for me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with my ring finger. Do it a couple of times. So you get your ring finger. And what I want you guys to do is follow up on your thumb with a high G on the bottom. So go ahead and give me a high, uh, high A on the top and then a high G on the bottom. Just open. That's kind of the base of this technique. And now guys, I want you to go ahead and find fret seven on the A string with your ring finger. Once you find that, go ahead and just pluck it with your, with your ring finger on your right hand. So you have two ring fingers going together. You're going to go ahead and pluck it. And what I want you guys to do now is you're going to go ahead and slide it off. So once you do that pull off, this is the pull off part. You're going to pluck and you're going to go pull off. Okay, so you don't have to do anything to get that. You just have to kind of flick the string to the side. Okay, let me see you guys do that four times. So here we go. We're going to do it one time, two, three, four. Once you kind of got that down, you can pause the video. Once you kind of got that down, I want you to try adding this in. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull it off, pull off, and then follow it up with a high G on the bottom. So you have... Pull off, high G. You can kind of play it with me. If you're at home, kind of playing around with it. Now once you got that, go ahead and take your ring finger uh, and slide it down to fret five. We're still on the A string, so we're still on the high A string. We're on fret five. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play it pull off and then follow up with the high G on the bottom. So here we go. Ready, go. So you're going to sound like this. Cool. Doing good, I hope. Last one here. Once you got that, um, we're just going to kind of walk in down here. So go ahead and now, you can use your ring finger, but I would suggest using your middle finger. And you can see right there my fret 3 marker. I'm going to go to fret 3. So we started on 7, we went down to 5, now I'm going to go down to 3. So this is a little technique, we're just going to go from 3. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Play 3, Oh, and then pull off, and then high G. You can practice with me. You can pause this at any time just to kind of play around with this. Last one. And then the very end, guys, I'm going to suggest you can either go to first finger and on fret 2 on the A string, kind of like this, or you can go middle finger. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to first finger just because it feels the most natural to me. And I'm going to do the same pattern. Uh, pluck, pull, high G. Ready, go. Now I am playing my high G is a little poppy there, so I do apologize about that. So now how does this sound when it's all put together? This is how it sounds once it comes together. So you, uh, this would be about a slow speed, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of increase the speed so you guys kind of hear it. Okay, now, um, something really fun to do, instead of doing it four times on each, one, 
Try going three times or two times. Two times. Let's go with two times. That might be better. A little, go with the even number, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So I'm essentially not using my middle two strings. I'm only using my high A and my low G, but te well, technically high G. And that's it. But yet it still sounds like I'm, I'm doing so much more than I actually am. So I pluck, pull, high G. Pluck, pull, high G. Pluck, pull, high G. Pluck, pull, high G. Now once it all comes together, guys, you can kind of get... So why is this called a triplet? It's called a triplet because it makes a triplet sound. It goes ta ka ta ta ka ta one two three one two three triple lit 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 Can I see how that works? So I actually have a couple songs that I utilize this technique in. One you can find on one of my albums, and uh, the song is called Momentous, and I, I, I'll play it for you in a second, but it utilizes seven, five, three, and two, and it utilizes the triplet pull with the high G drone technique. Um, and it's really just something cool. It's really cool, unique to ukulele. You definitely can't really do it on guitar. Um, so it's one thing that I really love to do. So I suggest you guys practice it up a little bit. And now, guys, you don't have to stick with my frets. You can always change it up. You guys can walk your way up to 10 and 12 and see how things sound up there. So it almost kind of sounds like a banjo, too. It's really neat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll play a uh, kind of a recorded version and so you guys can check it out right now at the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something from this and uh, let me know in the comments below if it helped you in any way kind of grow or think differently about ukulele. Thanks guys. Have a good one.